Home Office plans to move migrants out of hotels into a huge floating barge off the coast of Dorset. Uh, sorry, it could be sunk over concerns about the effect on tourism. The three-storey vessel, called the Bibby Stockholm, would house around 500 asylum seekers who, due to security restrictions, would need to be taken by bus to the port entry every time they wanted to leave. Uh, Conservative MP for South Dorset, Richard Drack, said he's looking into all legal routes to get the controversial plan consigned to the dustbin. And he's not the only one uh, worried for his constituency. Priti Patel, the former Home Secretary, is helping her local council in Essex to stop the Home Office using a military base <laughs> as a migrant camp. So as the Home Office faces yet another legal challenge, uh, could the Flotel be just another damp squib? Well, I mean, I don't know what they're going to do next, really. I mean, next they're just going to put them all on one of those open-top buses and drive around the country <laughs> with them, yeah. you know, because we can't put them in a hotel because people don't like that. Oh, now we'll put them in a camp. Oh, no, people don't like that. We'll put them... I actually went to visit the one in Bex Hill that they're claiming they're going to reopen, uh, which is some disused prison on the end of a very, very nice, quiet residential street. And it's already, there's people demonstrating there, there's people complaining about it, nobody wants it, they have to... I mean, it's just, I don't know what they're going to come up with next. It's I mean, like... It's, 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 it's literally of... like pin the tail on the donkey. It's road runner, <laughs> you know, isn't it? It's come up with it's, some it's other mad plan run, that won't Where you've work. got the Home Secretary constantly coming up, I've got another idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, this, this time I'll get it. And, the, I mean, if you wanted kind of further evidence of the utter farcical nature of this, you've now got Pretty Patel... Campaigning against yeah. yeah, this yeah. was the Completely woman mad. that Deddy, you know, put a job on the line. I'm going to sort this out. I'll open up barracks yeah. and all manner of places. What opens up in her? I mean, that whole thing about nimbyism it brings a whole new meaning to that, doesn't it? It really you know, does. Not she, around she here, mate. She has to do this, though. She has. She has to be seen to be fighting against it because she's still an MP. Listen, it's either annoy few, a select few conservative MPs, or annoy the whole country. And I think well, they seem to be doing that I think as well. Sh- though. Well, I think the they're home secretary is doing that. <laughs> No, but the thing is, they will annoy the whole country more if they're not seen to be doing anything about it. Now, I don't think this float... Float be? Float hell. Float hell. <laughs> I don't think it's for practical reasons. Obviously, it's completely illogical to keep busting them in and out whenever they want to move you know, from, from the float hell to actually being on land. It's, it's ridiculous. But I think the reason why they're doing this is because the migrant issue has become so politically incendiary. They want to keep it in the news and they want to make it seem like they're doing something about it because that always plays in the Tories' favour. Now, is it practical? I, I don't think so. Are the few MPs that are complaining about it going to succeed? Likely not, because it's either them on the line or the, yeah. the, the rest cheaper. of the country. It is cheaper than putting... putting well, it's exactly, as, as, so as well. Save some cash. They'll, well, it's no, going to cost 30 grand a day, apparently, which yeah, for one boat is quite a lot of money. Yeah, but it's still cheaper than, than a hotel, apparently. I, mean, I don't know, is the it? The hotel is yeah. six million... They spent six million pounds a day on hotels. Yeah, but the yeah. practicalities around the money it, to, They've uh, also got to rent it. Like they said in that report that you read, Mike, I mean, the, if somebody wants to come and go, then they've got to put like, a bus service on or yeah. something else. Is this if they want to go in to pool for a drink or something? This is a studio they allow them to come and go. It's just a nonsense. This is to take them onto land... Um, so yeah. they can have their, their daily exercise. That, that's, that's what the bus is for. It's not like for the day trips out and about. But <laughs> they, they are in the situation, the government, because people are annoyed about the hotels. People well, go, no. people are going well, and no. burn the hotels. On. They're in the situation because they haven't stopped people from coming. In that's the why they're in the yeah, situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Yes, yes that is. Right? No, they can't keep exactly shifting more, them around. More than that, it's not just not stopping people coming. It's not getting rid of the backlog. That's right. the real crisis. That's why we're yeah. spending six million on hotels. The whole thing is ridiculous, and it always comes back to the fact that they cannot get through those applications. They can't finalise you. Yes, you can stay. No, you can't. And then what staff. to do with the people you say no to? Yeah. yeah. Well, the fact is, the only way they're going to fix this is to say no to everyone and say, look, come legally or don't come at all. If you come illegally, we're going to kick you out. Well, Simple. they've had to make concessions the on, on the migrant it. bill because they've had to they've had to make make concessions to actually facilitate more or well, legal routes mm. because you can't say that the only way to apply for asylum is to be here physically here yeah, but and the then when they you, come the minute you put your hand up and say I'm claiming asylum you become legal well, exactly That's the trouble. Yeah. Well, this is the thing so, yeah. the so current they have system to kind of, just doesn't work they have yeah. to change it completely and until they get the the cojones to do that it's never going to stop well, you they know. can try and change it. Like, if you look at the Rwanda plan, people are going to keep opposing it. Well, that's another idiotic it. idea, isn't it? Well, that was a really I mean, ridiculous idea. I mean, they say, here's what, the thing. If they manage to get a few planes literally to Rwanda, it might not look as ridiculous. I mean, you know, they've got an office now in Number 10. It's a door, and it's got a big block, uh, capital letters on it, saying, Idiotic Ideas Department. <laughs> and they go in there every day and come out with another one. And that seems to be where we are. But, but, but Esther's point was the, was the most critical point of all, which is they have to be seen to, to be, be doing, doing something. something. That's it. Not right. actually doing something. Yeah. Not yeah. actually creating some solutions we'll to the problem. we'll all see problems. through that, and the country will see through it. But and that's go, it, yeah, but it? you didn't you get actually the, do anything. You get the floating thing going. You <laughs> get two, <laughs> plane, two planes, three planes to Rwanda. Yeah. Next, uh, they'll be sending few... them up to space from Nuki uh, on to the space. next rocket. You know. Richard Branson 
and his now defunct <laughs> rocket business. I don't know. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. it's Hot an air nonsense, balloons. But yeah, the, what they want is the optics, so it looks as if. But none of this is landing at the moment, no. is it, with the exactly. Tories? You know, yes, the, the grooming gang thing just didn't land really. There's no sense that anyone really believes that they believe it. Yeah. And I think that's the real that's the problem. Look, now if they managed to the do Tories. something, they could say, well, we've done this, what are Labour going to do?